Hey everybody and welcome to another video in this little self-care series with El Apothecary. Today we're going to be concentrating and giving some love to our shoulders and our neck. I am actually sitting in my bed, um, almost ready to go to sleep. There are a few more hours of the day, but I am winding down already. I am sipping a cup of tea and I have a candle burning and this is the time when I love to give myself a little bit of time and spend uh, the time on the areas of tension and I hold a lot of tension in my neck on the shoulders and I think most people do especially if you work at a computer or a desk so this is what we're going to be doing today and the product we're going to be using is the SOS body balm this and the other balm that the Apothecary do are my probably favorite products for them because I actually have them sitting on my bedside table this is what I reach for every night to just rub around my chest because the scents are absolutely heavenly. This one has chamomile on it, blue chamomile in fact, and it also has arnica. Arnica is actually one of my favorite ingredients when it comes to skin and body care. It is an amazing ingredient for inflammation, for bruising, for just calming, releasing tension. And what I love about this is it is such an all-purpose balm so you can use it on your sore legs after a workout maybe you have some pains and aches in your joints maybe you're feeling like one of your muscles is spasming or a little bit tense or maybe you just have a dry area on your elbows or on your heels your feet are feeling tired your shoulders are feeling tired your neck has been you know bending like leaning forward all day this is what I would reach for I've been scooping it generously uh, for a while but a little goes a long way you just warm it up in your hands and then it spreads really nicely into this beautiful aromatic oil um, so this is what we're going to use today I'm going to pop my hair up and we're going to start by scooping a little bit of the balm from the jar so this will do just fine because it really goes a long way so as soon as I start warming up in my palms it will melt into this really gorgeous texture and the scent immediately starts spreading all over it's very enveloping around you which I really like so we're going to start with our shoulders so you can either spread a little bit or you can just work your way through it so my fingers are going to the back of my shoulders and I am um, going to massage my trapezius muscle which is a large muscle looks like this on your back and this is where a lot of tension sits so I'm just using the fingers but also the weight of my hands I allow my hands to be heavy as they pull forward and I use my fingertips to massage into those tensions and then we're going to work one side at a time so I'm going to use both hands to scoop forward so I'm really grabbing onto the muscle and then I'm taking it forward creating some length some space and just relieving some tension but be intuitive here try to keep breathing nice and deeply while you're massaging slowing down the breath slowing down the heart rate and then we're going to massage into the neck as well so on the sides of the neck under the ear and under the skull And then I'm going to bring one hand towards my shoulder and the other hand is going to go up and you're going to pull them in different directions, finding a stretch through the side of the neck. I'm going to do exactly the same but a little bit lower. So I'm going to push my jaw up while my hand is pressing down onto the collarbone. And let's use our knuckles. So knuckles are a great way to get a little bit deeper into the tensions without applying too much effort with your fingers because that can be quite tiring. 
Sometimes people feel a lot of tension and, and the pressure right here. So if you pull your shoulder up and locate this area next to the bone, this can feel really nice if you just give a little bit of love to that area. And let's do the other side. So we're going to start by pulling it forward, just like we did on the other side. And then you can go some circular motions. using your knuckles see what feels more comfortable for you and let's do the stretch I'm crossing my forearms and then I'm gonna go a little bit further down and then I'm gonna massage that little sore spot also massage the chest because I don't think people realize how much tension sometimes they can hold here so using the knuckles work from the sternum towards your armpit you can also use your fingers this is great to promote lymphatic drainage as well redness is completely normal don't be afraid don't be afraid of no um, don't be afraid of the redness that flashing is good. That's fresh blood coming to the surface of the skin. And then we're gonna make a little fold and work that fold towards the armpit. You can either have fingers like this or like this. I find it easier when the hands face in different directions. And the opposite side. Might be hard to grab onto the skin there, and that's completely fine too. Using the heel of your palm, I'm going to massage just under the collarbone into the shoulder, so into this little scoop right here. And that side. And then we're gonna work onto the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is this one right here. If you turn your head and slightly tilt it forward, you will locate it. We're going to massage it all the way from insertion to origin or origin to insertion, it doesn't matter. Just try to work all the way along it, almost grabbing onto it, massaging it. We want this muscle to be very malleable. We don't want it to feel stagnant or stuck. Might feel a little bit sore, especially if you've never touched that muscle before, which I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't, because why would you? Let's use the heels of our palms and pull them forward. Rather, when you push your neck forward, you're going to slide your arms back. So you're going in different directions, almost applying a little bit of a resistance. And just massage the base of your skull with your fingertips. The scent of this is so beautiful and it's so calming so it really works in 360 I would say in a, in a great um, I think this massage is like a great companion for this balm because they just work so great together and a couple of sweeps down and that my friends is it I feel 
so much more relaxed than I did 10 minutes ago. I hope so do you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope to see you very soon. Bye.